Nova Trophy, an official distributor of Kobe Sportswear. Here to help you with all of your jersey needs. Known for our trophies, but rising in the sports apparel world. Stop by Nova Trophy to get your team dressed in Kobe's best. John Moore with uh, Josh Crooks, uh, a Moncton Wildcat, uh, selected in the in the final round of the of the the draft. Josh, congratulations! Uh, yeah, tell me tell me a little bit of what what it means to you and uh, just just your emotions at the at the time of finding it. Um, it feels great, um, you know, being known as like a minor midget, you know, prospect. It was it felt really good to get drafted to the Moncton Wildcats, especially it's not that long of a drive, two hour two and a half hours. That's not bad, so it feels really good. Yeah, you played with the Dartmouth V's this past year, first year in the Nova Scotia yeah. Minor Midget AAA Hockey League. When you started the season, uh, yeah, he had a tremendous season, but you just to think that perhaps there was a possibility he might get drafted into the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League. Yeah, I mean, my coach really wanted to me to pursue my dreams, and so he wanted me to work really hard through that year, and he wanted me to get to the next step, so he helped me out for that year. So, yeah, I'd fake him a lot for that. Players are never certain whether to go to the draft or not, unless unless they know they're going to be selected. Uh, tell me of your th your thoughts as the draft approach it on whether to go to Shawinigan or not. Um, you mean I know it didn't feel it just felt normal for me. I wasn't too stressed out, but uh, my decision I just wanted to you know stay home just because I don't know if I was going to get drafted or not for sure. So I just didn't want to go waste my time going and spending all my parents. I don't want my my parents spending all that money. You know, it's in case I don't get drafted and all that, so I just stayed home, just hoping to get my name called and just to see my name on the sheet. So. Yeah, well, your name was called yeah. uh, and uh, on the sheet. Uh, how'd you find out? It was a great feeling. You know, I had just a burst of excitement. You know, to hug my parents, both of my parents, my brother as well. So they were very happy for me, and it was it was just a great feeling. Um, but how how did you find out? Uh, I found out online on the QMJHL website. Actually, it was like a automatic nameless thing. So like. Once a kid gets drafted, their name goes besides the team and like what round they were in and stuff. So yeah. And what communications, uh, what, what conversations have you had with the Moncton Wildcats? Um, right after they called me, Andre just gave me a call and saying we drafted you, and I said thanks a lot. It means a lot to me and all that. And so he said uh, he'll be here. She'll be in. Halifax shortly to give me my jersey and hat, so I was very excited to hear that. Well, probably about a week before the draft, that if he was available uh, when, when we were looking to take him, that wasn't even going to be a question for us. So, so there was as the draft proceeded, you knew that if, if, if Crooks was available, you were taking him at 14. Yes, absolutely. It uh, it was uh, it, again. We were kind of waiting to see how everything was going to shake out, and you always have to make sure that you, you've done your your proper due diligence uh, with your protection lists to make sure you you've given yourself you know the room on, to to make your selections. And and uh, you know our head scout Richie Tebow did a real good job with that, and 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 we kind of gave each other a little bit of a smirk and a, and a, and, a, and a wink as as things were coming down to it, and we knew he if he was going to be there, he was going to take him. So. Uh, that your first Q camp will be coming in August. Uh, uh, tell me about what what your plans are for the summer. Um, just dry land training, spending most of my time at the gym. You know, doing squats, lifting weights, practicing push-ups, everything that desires to get me better as a hockey player and to the Q draft, into the Q, uh, Q, um, you know, it was a wild, wildcat system. Yeah, wildcat system. Yeah. Okay. Well, do you, do, what, what as you look at it right now, what what are your options for next season? Next season, um, I mean. Obviously, want to try my best to make the team as a first year. That would be pretty great. But like, if I don't, you know, I always have to go back to Halifax Max since they're a great organization and they already signed me too. So, I would be happy to play for them as well. How long have you been thinking about the possibility of of playing in the Quebec Major Junior? Has that been a childhood dream to play in the Q? Oh yeah, for sure. I think it's every kid's dream. Every kid's dream to play in the Q and eventually play in the NHL but right now you know I want to focus on the Q and major major a bit too so uh, yeah it was it was a bit of a dream for me yeah what do you feel that you need to improve upon what, what area of your game do you feel you need to see the biggest improvement if you're going to play as soon as possible in the Quebec major junior hockey league? um probably my confidence you know having confidence with the puck having confidence without the puck and stuff like that and you know try moves that I normally don't try around the net and around and get more scoring opportunities so that's what I should work on for sure
you know, I, I can't speak for the other teams, but for us, you know, we, we, he was a he was a kid that again uh, was was a big, strong kid. He, he, he did he, he was a very very good speed and mobility, uh, and and we saw some things when he played up at the major midget level uh, that that we really liked. And 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 knowing again, you know, I, I hate to I hate to beat the drum over and over, but knowing my good buddy Aaron King and, and what he was doing with that group last year, uh, we knew he was going to get a good solid foundation out of it, and that was never going to be a hesitation on our part and I think it's a real good example of, of you know kids uh, you know persevering through and, and and the old adage is if you're good enough they'll find you and I think this is a classic example of that. So where might he may be next year? Well I suspect he'll come to camp and I suspect you know he'll 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 push uh, and, 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 and acquit himself quite well. Uh, my, my suspicions is he'll probably end up playing major, uh, major midget next year with the Halifax Max. Uh, I, I don't I don't see that uh, you know changing too too much and I think that'll be a good spot for him where he can step in a good solid role and, and develop under coach Boyce and, and and do and do real good things and 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 again the trajectory on players when you're trying to figure out what a 15 year old is going to do uh, it, it, you know it's always a bit of a roll of the dice but you know we like what we've seen so far and it's a good foundation to, to make it in the good steps of the future and finally what type of player might he eventually become whether he's in the place place in the queue or not. Well, we think, you know, due to his physical attributes, you know, his, his skating, his size, his physical play, uh, we think we project him, you know, to be a, a, probably a good third line uh, checking role type. But at the same time, with his speed, he can create absolute chaos. And, 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 you know, if he keeps growing and keeps getting stronger and keeps, you know, stay, training hard, that sort of thing, with that speed, the sky's the limit because, you know, if anybody's ever seen him, the kid can flat out fly on the ice. So it's uh, there's a lot of upside in, in the qualities he has. Thank you.